Holy Spirit, I pray for the first video of this year, we just lift up your presence. We ask for your anointing and we just lift the name above every name, the name of Jesus. Jesus, I pray that you are glorified in this video. The first video of this year, we set it apart and we ask that you bless it. We ask that you speak through it. We ask that your anointing begin to go through the screen right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. But right before I <clears throat> released this, right before I was about to record, the Lord dropped, uh, dropped Psalms 24 in my heart. And I want you to know that in verse 7, it says, Welcome the King of glory, for he is about to come through you. 2024 is going to be a year that the King of glory is going to come through you. You are going to be a doorway for the Lord to walk through in this season. In this year, the Lord is going to walk his life and his spirit out through your life. And I'm really excited for this word. And Happy New Year, by the way. Um, this is the first video of 2024. And the Lord began to speak to me about 2024 around the middle of 2023. And the phrase that he gave me, the word that he gave me for the year is he said that the year of 2024 is going to be the year of order. I am bringing order back into my people's lives. And around this time, I started seeing 1212 uh, all the time. Like, I mean, every day for weeks, everywhere <clears throat> in one shape, form or fashion. And it prompted me, the Holy Spirit prompted me to start doing some biblical research on the number 12. And the number 12 represents um, God's authority, God's order. God is a God of order. God is not a God of confusion, God of chaos. And many of our lives have been a life of chaos. And the Lord is getting ready to lay a new foundation of order. And order really, um, the aspect of order is around your identity, around your priestly identity as a son or as a daughter of God. That is what is getting ready to shift in your life. And I want to give you a, uh, a scripture that the Lord gave me, and it's in um, Isaiah 22. Yeah, Isaiah 22, 22 through 24. It says, I will give him the key to the house of David, the highest position in the royal court. You come from a royal family, and the Lord's about to give you that level of identity, a knowing and when he opens doors, no one will be able to close them. And when he closes doors, no one will be able to open them. And he will bring honor to his family's name, even the lowliest members of his family. And I'm telling you, I just prophesy right now that the Lord is using you to bring honor to your family's name. Your last name, the name that you carry, is never going to be the same because of what the Lord is getting ready to do through you. He is about to change your last name. <laughs> And it says, I would drive him firmly in place like a nail in the wall. The Lord is about to drive you firmly in place like a nail going into the wall to hang a picture frame or whatever it is, a nail driven into the wall. <laughs> and this is going to bring great responsibility to your life. And um, around, I don't know, November, December of last year, I had a very vivid dream from the Lord, and in the dream, I heard a voice saying Psalms 102, Psalms 102, Psalms 102, and then I woke up, and I knew the Holy Spirit um, was highlighting Psalms 102, Psalms 102, and so I remember reading it. I opened it up, and I kid you not, the header in the passage, and I happen to read the, the Passion Translation of the Bible, but um, typically at the top of a passage, there's a header, and the header said, From Tears to Praise. And immediately the Holy Spirit downloaded this to me, that 2023, and I knew, I felt so seen in this moment, because if you could sum up 2023 in one word, it would be tears. And I knew the Holy Spirit was shifting, God, God was shifting his people from a place of tears to a place of praise. As we're moving and as we've moved from 2023 into 2024, the Lord is moving us from tears into praise, from tears into praise. And someone needs to comment that below. The Lord is moving me from tears to praise. 
And before I release this, I want you to know I've never released anything like this. These are very specific things that the Lord has downloaded into my spirit, and I'm about to share it. But I want you to know all of this that I've said, that I've, there's way more than I can cover in this video, but it's a free ebook, depending what platform you're watching me on. It's gonna be in the description um, or gonna be in my bio or a pinned comment or something like that. Um, but you can download all of this. This is an ebook, you can download it for free, absolutely free to your phone. And I encourage you to download it so you can have it. Because um, <clears throat> there's a lot of scripture, there's a lot in here. But I'm just gonna dive um, right in and um, with the things specifically the Lord, the year of order, these are things that are getting ready to happen in your life. Number one is prophetic promises will be fulfilled. Many words that have been spoken of your life will begin to come to pass. Many of you are going to be experiencing full circle moments. The Lord gave me this phrase, full circle, full circle. Things that were happening in your life seven to 10 years ago um, that never seemed to come to fruition are about to happen. Many of you will begin to see the Lord fulfill his word, the prophetic words spoken of your life. Next, new families will start, marriages will happen, and married couples will begin to have children. Next, new connections and relationships will begin to form. The Lord is bringing us into a place of intimacy with other people in the body of Christ. This lone wolf Christianity is coming to an end. Many um, single people will begin to meet their spouse. And the Holy Spirit also began to highlight to me deep friendships. Deep friendships will begin to start taking place. We're talking like best friend type of thing, family level friends. Next, children will be had, including many rainbow babies. And um, if you're aware of my wife and I's testimony, we had a missed miscarriage in 2023 and lost our baby. Um, and the Lord showed me a vision of a rainbow over his people this year which represents God's beauty and holiness. What he highlighted is his beauty and his holiness coming back to your life, and it represents restoration. Next, tears will be wiped away. Just like he did for Joseph, the Lord is going to make you fruitful in the land of your grief. And at the uh, end of Joseph's story, after going through the prison and the falsely accused and all this heartache, as he was put into second in command, he had two babies. And their names are so prophetic, but his first child, his child was named Manasseh, which means God, when God causes you to be able to supernaturally forget the pain of your past. And his second son is Ephraim. And Ephraim means when the Lord makes you fruitful in the land of your grief. The Lord is getting ready to make you fruitful in the land of your grief. Next, it's going to be, this is going to be an appointed year, appointed time for many believers. And appointed time, appointed times represent God's authority being placed onto your life. His authority, his order, his identity is coming on your life. And when God's authority comes on your life, doors will begin to open. Things will begin to shift. An appointed time, an appointed time represents God's acceleration taking place over your life. Things that have been very stagnant, very delayed, an acceleration is coming. An acceleration in Jesus' name is coming into your life. Next, new foundations will be laid. God is recreating his people from the ground up. He is laying a new foundation, one that cannot be shaken. And for many of us, this is going to include new land and homes for God's people across the world. Next, prodigals will begin coming home in droves. Many have been hearing the call from the Lord, but will finally begin to surrender to it. That's my testimony. A year ago, I had left Christianity. The Lord called me home and has changed my life forever. Um, next, many people will be led to new shepherds and churches. Many of you are currently a part of a community and the Lord is going to lead you to a new shepherd. Um, Sometime last year, I had a, uh, the Lord woke me up in the middle of the night and said, go read Jeremiah chapter 23. And I never released the word. Um, and I'm probably going to talk more about this throughout 2024. Um, but God's judgment is coming to his house. God is about to deal with his church and he's already started to deal with his church. He is separating the wheat from the tear and he is revealing his bride from the church. And he is beginning to deal with the lukewarmness that has kind of infiltrated the the church. Um, the Lord is about to deal with his church. 
Um, and he's also taking the remnant, the faithful who have been planted, and he's going to lead you to new houses. He's going to lead you to new shepherds. He's going to lead you to new community. Next, the fame of Jesus will begin to spread at an accelerated rate in the most unlikely places and within the most unlikely people. And we started to see this people who you would have never thought would have come out and started professing Jesus as Lord have started. And it's been crazy. It's started to happen outside of the local church. You started to see Kat Von D, Hulk Hogan. You started to see Ndada Yankee. Um, you started seeing all these different people boldly profess Jesus. And I'm telling you, you're going to start to see that at an unprecedented rate. The fame of Jesus is going to spread within people um, that we would have never thought in a million years would come to Jesus. Um, so because Jesus pro uh, promised over 2000 years ago, if my name would lift, be lifted up, if my name would be lifted up, I would draw all people unto myself. Next, new names will be given. We mentioned names earlier in the scripture. The Lord is giving us a new name. And for many of you, this is going to be, um, you're going to be taking a new name from a spouse or whatever, but names represent function. God is going to take your established name and give you a new one. This will be an Abram to Abraham moment for many. This will be a Jacob to Israel moment. This wrestling season um, will have you coming out with a new name for the Lord. Similarly, when Jacob wrestled with the Lord, when he came out of that wrestling, the Lord gave him a new name, which meant uh, one, uh, a new name, Israel, which meant one, to, one who wrestles with God. Uh, and a new name also represents a new function or a new assignment within the kingdom of God. And um, that's all the points that the Lord had given me. And I encourage you also to go download this. Again, there's so much more scripture, uh, more that I wrote that I can't just cover in one video. Um, but these will be themes throughout this year. Um, go read Psalms 102. And I encourage you to go read it in the Passion Translation of the Bible. And um, I'm really excited for this year. I'm excited to see what the Lord is, is going to do. And there's so much getting ready to happen. There's so much getting ready to happen in your life. And I don't believe it's a coincidence that you were led here. The Lord has led so many people to this account because the Lord is speaking and he is using it. The Lord is getting ready to move you into a season of praise things that have been stuck there is so much that is getting ready to cause you to praise the lord things beyond your understanding and i pray right now holy spirit that you would just seal the seeds that were so sown in this video and i pray right now that you begin to nurture this word that you begin to watch over this word lord that you begin to guard this word and I pray that for many, that this was a confirmation to them. And I pray that you would begin to turn their tears into praise. No matter what 2024 has already brought, I'm telling you. Lord, I pray that you begin to begin to move in their life. Begin to work the miracles. Begin to bring these things to pass. And I thank you for this soul. And I pray that you bless them. And I just speak the blood of Jesus over them. And I ask for your anointing to just go through this screen. And I pray that you would begin to, to cover them. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And if you agree with this word, I want you to comment. Share your thoughts. Um, let me know what you think. Share this with somebody. Um, share this with somebody. And again... You're going to be able to download this depending what platform you're on. I encourage you to download it, read it. It's super short. Um, it's a free ebook and it's got all the scriptures. And this is something that you can build your life on in 2024. Um, it's a foundation. And the Lord has really been speaking to me about this, of not just speaking or reading the word, but building your life on it. And Jesus said, those who build their life on my words, when the storms and everything may come, you will still be firm. It will not blow away like sinking sand. The word of God is what we need to build our lives on. And I pray that as you hear his heart, you will begin to build your life on his word. And it's in Jesus' name. I love you.